In this video, we will discuss generating and sending an email campaign. There are several options with which you can begin your campaign process, one of which is from the Contacts tab. When in Contacts, after making a selection, you'll notice the drop-down menu up above that will allow you to start a campaign. Additionally, if I navigate to search and run a quick Boolean keyword search, I do have the opportunity to take all contacts or a selected few to start a campaign. The campaigns will ultimately pull from your saved lists, searches, and find views. So if you did want to later pull this in, I may recommend saving your search or saving your view so that way you can navigate and create a campaign around those contacts. If we navigate to campaigns, we can also begin a new campaign by selecting new in the top left hand corner. This will allow us to then name our campaign. Once completed, I can select next. From this screen, I can use the plus sign to decide who I'd like this campaign to be sent to. In this case, you'll be accessing from your saved lists, searches, and find views. I'm going to select a list here. You can select multiple. You can also choose any exclusion if you'd like this campaign to be sent to a series of contacts but exclude a particular list, you can do that as well. Lastly, you can make an additional contact selection if you'd like to include more contacts to send this campaign to. Once complete, I can review next to begin generating and composing my email campaign. You do have the option to choose from your pre-made templates here in the top right hand corner or you can begin drafting and generating a new email on the spot. You just want to remember that a from, subject, and body are required in order to send your campaign. You do have the option to send a test if you'd like to send a test copy to yourself or a colleague to preview prior to officially sending. With that complete, I will send and confirm my send here and then select OK. That will generate the campaign which you'll be able to see in your status details. In our campaign queue here, we can navigate to the Outbox queue to view both in progress and paused campaigns. If you would like to pause a campaign, you may select the icon here, which will move it down to the paused section. You can also altogether cancel a campaign if you'd no longer like to have that campaign sent. To unpause, simply selecting the icon here will bump that up to your in progress so it can begin to send the, any remaining emails. Navigating back to email campaigns, you'll have the option to view any campaign that has been previously sent out. If I double click here, this will show you the campaign itself and any unsubscribes, open and clicks that have occurred. For instance, on our chart here, we see that 51 emails have bounced, seven have been delivered, and two have been opened. Below will be the list of recipients. This list can be narrowed down if you'd like to just show the contacts that opened, or only show those that have bounced. To view the template, you can select View Template to actually see a copy of the email that was sent out. That will conclude this video, and thanks for watching.